I remember when I came to New York to go to school, um, I ventured down St. Mark's Place and there was this haircutting place. Oh no, no, it was a bookstore, Eastside Bookstore. And I saw a flyer that said, Basement Workshop, an Asian American multicultural organization. And that was the first time I saw those two words put together, Asian American. And I thought, well, that's, that's me, you know. So um, I went there and uh, I met other Asian Americans. The first time I met other Asians who were, uh, uh, were born in America, um, where English was their first language. Um, and that togetherness there was very parallel to what Oliver described because um, it was about the empowerment through uh, the, re the refusal to be, to be marginalized, um, the affirmation of history, um, the rejection of stereotypes. Because you think of that time as America was post-war with uh, several Asian nations from you know, uh, Japan, uh, Korea, Vietnam. And, um, and so there were very, uh, it was that type of um, atmosphere. Um, it wasn't until 66 that the restrictive immigration policies towards Asians uh, had been lifted. So it's fairly recent history. Um, but, you know, at that time there were no albums for me to listen to by Asian Americans. Uh, no novels or uh, movies, um, newscasters. Uh, as recent as a couple of years ago, I was listening to T. Watch Hang give a talk, and he said, uh, between the Boston and the Washington market, there was only one other Asian American male on, t on network television, and um, he got fired, actually. But, uh, but there were a preponderance of Asian American women. So, you know, when we talk about um, a post-racialized -racial society, you know, it's still, the world is still organized by race. There's, there's still th those um, issues of perception that have to be addressed. So when I listen to um, Baraka Reed, the thing that makes impact on me when I've seen him perform and on your video is um, his words of, of truth, his, his mind and spirit and intellect and voice uh, were aligned. So he, he's like, He's a resonant person to me. You know, it just, his vibrations are, are that powerful um, because he understood, like we musicians understand, that music or poetry, you know, it's a ritual of truth seeking to become that truth. So we're always on that, that quest um, to find that deeper part of ourselves to share with others.